Hello, Taurus, Taurus rising, and Taurus moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting March 27th, 2017. And a quick reminder for you Taurus people out there, remember your, your monthly astrology horoscopes for April are already up on their main channel page under their own playlist, so you can check those out. And of course, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. So what's going on with your astrology this week, Taurus? Well, we've got a lot of focus on uh, this new moon that's turning around in Aries, in your 12th house of your past, your privacy, your secrets, your hidden zone, but also things that you have going on behind the scenes. And over the next few months, you know, it's time to start working on debuting some personal projects and personal goals and aspirations that you've been keeping from people. Sometimes we don't reveal all of our plans, we don't reveal our big agenda, whether it's, you know, starting a new business or, you know, going and pursuing a different kind of career or trying to, you know, maybe even work a little bit more in depth with an artistic craft or a spiritual craft. But it's time to consider debuting it nonetheless. You may have been keeping it in the shadows for far too long because the 12th house is considered the shadow area. And you may find that actually debuting this more publicly or perhaps just more selectively with friends and family members who you know may actually get it is actually going to expedite the evolution of this process, you know, and, and maybe actually make it more realized and, and manifested more substantially than you could have started even by doing it all on your own. So there's an opportunity to be more inclusive with this teamwork, even though you're kind of keeping it all to yourself. We also have Mars in your sign, forming a charming sextile to Neptune at the beginning of the week, and we've got some assistance coming from a friend. Uh, this is backup. Whenever Mars and Neptune come together, we have backup. We have somebody sticking up for you. Uh, we have somebody actually going out to bat for you if you need somebody to speak up or vouch for you. Or maybe you're in a situation where you are going up and sticking up for somebody else. You're giving somebody else backup. Either way, this is tightening the bond here. This could be happening with uh, with work uh, because of Mars. It you know does actually talk a lot about labor. Or this could be talking about somebody helping you out or you helping out somebody else in their love life, but either way there is a mutual payoff going on at the beginning of this week. Later on, as we get into uh, the end of the week, we've got Jupiter in Libra in your sixth house of reputation, work, and health forming a square to Pluto in your ninth house of higher education, travel, uh, government legal proceedings, and your spiritual life and your multicultural exposure. <clears throat> and Jupiter is kind of saying you know, it's time to consider pursuing an avenue um, either in your spiritual practice or in your career or in your education that may seem foreign, that may kind of go against the textbook expectations, the training, uh, or for the education or the curriculum that you've been through. We may actually be able to find a way to get a better job or have a better work experience or a better schedule or possibly even get ourselves into a, a situation that enables us to travel, expand a lot more in our, in our lives if we just allow ourselves to be afforded the opportunity. I think that we might be not taking the risks we need to. And when Jupiter squares Pluto, it does actually encourage taking that risk and being able to kind of give yourself what you've been putting off for far too long. So what's going on? I just thought of Bilbo and the Lord of the Rings for some reason. Uh, so when it comes to your, uh, for your spiritual advice for your cards, we just got the uh, Before the Gathering card, interestingly enough. Okay, and the Before the Gathering card is talking about a need again for more inclusiveness. You know, starting to share a little bit more about what you've been keeping your lips zipped about with your closest, with your nearest and dearest, with your lover, with your family members, with your friends, being able to actually allow yourself to have a team support you before some kind of big turnaround or big event or big whatever. Now, before the gathering doesn't mean gossip. It really does mean divulging. It means sharing. It means opening up. And because the, one of the things that happens here with this card is that we do have sort of a celebration. We have a lot of thank God you said it energy. This may be something that gets other people to open up. You know, sometimes the best way to get people to take down their barriers is to take down ours in front of them. You know, everyone put their weapons and their defenses on the table, so we all go into this unarmed. And you may actually notice that with the Before the Gathering card, a lot of people, again, would be willing to step up and back you up if they thought that's what you needed in the first place. So the emphasis this week is going to be on vulnerability. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and your finances, we've got the Queen of Swords, 
reversed. Alright, so on the work front, it seems like with the Queen of Swords reversed, there could be some challenges going on with either a coworker or a boss <clears throat> who has completely overstepped their bounds, and they're kind of trying to abuse the technical aspect of this job, you know, abuse their knowledge of the bureaucracy, and then when we see the Queen of Swords reverse, we tend to see people who behave in that very, very stereotypical, uh, bad, litigious person kind of way. You know, the Queen of Swords reverse tends to abuse the rules because she knows them so well. In her mind, she's simply being a shark or a hustler, but to everyone else, it's just a stone-cold bee. And with the Queen of Swords reversed, I think that this could be a situation where, again, we talk about challenging people, getting vulnerable, or allowing backup to happen. You might be the first person to kind of call this person out or bring this situation to a head, but other people will back you up. They will agree with the situation. Because the Queen of Swords reversed usually does show up in work areas where there is, somebody's able to abuse policy or to abuse work because it's abusable, so we need to change it. It's kind of like taking the wind out of your sails. Financially, with the Queen of Swords reversed on a general level, does indicate things are actually doing quite all right. Just be careful about people who are trying to strong arm you or muscle you into giving you something, into paying them or giving them any money this week because they are trying to get some kind of compensation for more of the mental and emotional hardship that they think that the world has put them through. You may be guilt tripped or perhaps even bullied into trying to pay this person to just shut up and leave you alone. You don't have to do that. For your communications with air when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we've got the Seven of Pentacles upright. Uh, there may be news of some kind of delay on maybe either a move or uh, some kind of celebration or some kind of event that you have already made plans for, whether you were planning this off in the far future or this was something that y'all were going to be doing this week doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to happen. It's a delay, not a cancellation. In fact, with the Seven of Pentacles, this might not even concern you. You could be expecting the arrival of somebody. Um, this could be something where somebody you wait, you're waiting for is going to show up, but they could be still be showing up late that day or that night. But for some reason, the Seven of Pentacles says it's very important to pay attention to this because you may be counting on this person to help out, to be there if they volunteered for you, if they're a guest at like a wedding or a celebration or a party or something like that. Make your plans adjusted accordingly. Somebody, again, you've already expected to be there may be taking a bit of time and it might throw off the rest of the day. So we need to be prepared for that eventuality. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Page of Wands upright. Page of Wands upright just simply says that your challenge this week is to be the one to initiate by sending out more invitations this week. Sending out more invitations is very, very important, I think, because when we talk about invitations, invitations are more than just, do you want to do something? You know, invitations and working on invitations is basically saying learning to be a good host, learning to be a good mannerful host, but also at the same time when we think about invitations is also being able to, again, boost uh, the inclination of others to be around you. You know, it's not going to be hard to do that, but I think that on some level, Taurus, you may be feeling like it's not very easy to think of something that's going to make everyone happy or make everyone decide to rally around your personal banner. The, eight of, the, the, the Page of Wands Upright is simply saying, you know, working on how to actually do the invitation or working on how to actually, you know, include and help people feel welcome is going to be something that you're going to need to learn how to read the room on. It goes a lot with that before the gathering card. Sorry about that, Taurus. had a little bump and then the camera went off, but the show must go on. So what is going on with your emotions with water? Well, for your emotions with water, we've got the Ten of Wands upright. And this can indicate a need for a lot of you Taurus people to pay attention, uh, especially if you are single, you're looking for a new partner. The Ten of Wands upright can indicate um, just pay attention to being over-eager to prove yourself this week. There may be somebody who might be totally willing to take advantage of that. You know, sometimes we Earth signs like to prove ourselves by being of service. Oh, no worries, I can help you do that, or let me pick that up on the way, or, you know, oh, do you need help with this? Be careful too much about that. You know, over-volunteering yourself, that's, that's sort of like, that, that's not asking to be used, it's demanding it. You know, and so, you know, we can't say this person took advantage because it's kind of like, well, I didn't have to volunteer. They didn't ask me to do it. 
So you might find yourself put in that awkward energy position, and it does happen to Earth, us Earth signs a lot. I'm a Virgo, I know what I'm talking about. Now, the other thing about the Ten of Wands, though, to pay attention to, which is very interesting, is that you may also be noticing that a sweetheart or a crush uh, needs to start actually paying attention to where they've kind of over, you know, they put too much on their own plate. Um, this week. You may be noticing that a, that a partner um, or a crush has decided to kind of take on so much that it's it might be interfering a little bit when it comes to our relationship, or maybe it's not interfering with our relationship. Sometimes what happens is that our relationship is fine, but, but everything else around them seems to be suffering, whether it's their relationship with their job, their relationship with their kids, their friends, their family, and it may be time to kind of sit them down and kind of see, like, what's going on? You know, like, hey, lover or partner or crush, like, you know, why are you running around like a chicken with your head cut off right now? You know, I, I've just kind of noticed, like, a lot of things seem to be suffering around you. Like, is everything okay? Because sometimes people do, you know, get addicted to work, to workaholism. They do. <laughs> and I think that what can happen is that, well, with the Ten of Wands, you know, you might have to do a bit of a check-in, because this might be a sign that something else is going on that they, they really could actually use your help with. So again, vulnerability. So that is your horoscope. Taurus, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you'd ever like to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.